For nearly 2,000 years, the charred papyrus scrolls found in Herculaneum have been indecipherable. They were burnt and buried under layers of volcanic ash following the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. But using artificial intelligence, Italian scientists are piecing together the text that was lost and what they reveal through this advanced infrared imaging are previously unknown details of where the Greek philosopher Plato is buried and how he spent his final hours. He died at the age of 81, and on his final day, the text tells us that he listened to music played on a flute by a Thracian slave girl, and despite battling a fever and being on the brink of death, he is said to have retained enough lucidity to complain that she didn't have enough rhythm. Uh, Graziano Ranocchias is Professor of Papyrology at the University of Pisa, who's leading the team that made the discovery. Thank you very much. Could you s explain in simple terms how you've done it? Yeah, so we have been, been working hard on editing Herculaneum papyri for years here in Naples, and by making editions, uh, any, at any time new discoveries come, come, come out, such those concerning the history of the Academy by Philolimus, this marvelous book roll, which has hand, been handed down to us from, from the ashes of, the, of, Mount, of the Mount Vesuvius eruption of AD 79. So it contains much more information in comparison with older editions of the same book, but it happens and applies to any Herculanic papyri which uh, is edited again after 2000, because advanced techniques have led us to make huge progresses uh, in, uh, the, in the textual reading and also in the uh, philosophical and literary interpretation. And we now know so, where he's buried, yeah. correct? Yeah, we did know that he was buried in the academy, so in the academic school, so to speak, the first university of, of, of Western civilization, namely uh, immediately outside the city walls of Athens. But we didn't know exactly where, and now we know that he was buried close to the shrine to the muses, the so-called museum, in a special garden reserved to him and his school. And just very quickly, could, could you use this on other scrolls that you haven't yet been able to decipher? Yeah, we, we, can, we, sh we are going to use the same techniques to, uh, to decipher and edit other rules, and we are making new discoveries which are now under publication, so in press. Professor Ranokai, thank you very much for coming on the programme. Sorry to uh, cut that short. Uh, extraordinary story. More details on that on the BBC webpage. Who knew that uh, mansplaining is as old as Plato? Probably most of the women who are watching.